guys, welcome back to Tech Bite. Hey everyone, I'm just jumping in really quickly to let you know that this video was recorded last summer while on vacation and in it we performed a real world test of the Crown GPS capabilities of the Tracker Bravo. Now one thing you should know is that this test does not only apply to the Tracker Bravo, which is what I used in this video, but also to other trackers out there like the Tile for example, which all rely on the same technology, that being Crowd GPS. That being said, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video to find out whether or not these sorts of trackers will help you find your lost items. Now Rome is a very crowded area as you can see. So if we're gonna find this tracker, it's gonna be here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have my friend Sims from Sims Tech take this tracker and hide it somewhere around this square and then see if the crowd GPS, if the people, will find this tracker for me. All right, hey guys, uh, I'm Sims, if you didn't know this. And so I'll be hiding Julian's tracker somewhere in this area. There's the fountain, and he's gonna see if he can find it. Now it is pretty loud, and so using this thing's beeper should be interesting. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. All right, so Bluetooth is going off. Sims, here's some tape. Don't let anybody see you. All right, All right so let's see if there's a place where we can hide this thing. All right, so the tracker is hidden in that ice cream shop, and I'm gonna go meet back up with Julian and see if he can find it. Hey, hey. you hide it? All right, it is hidden. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen. Okay, that's good. Did you make sure nobody was looking? Uh, I mean, I tried. Okay, that's good. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen. So the reason we walked away kind of a little bit is so the last seen location wouldn't be where Sims is hiding it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and report this thing as missing, and if it is found, I will get a notification. So now all we have to do is wait. So we're just having lunch at a restaurant and I just got a notification. My tracker was spotted, as you can see. So let's go ahead and see it on the map and hopefully that'll show us where it is. Okay, so I pulled it up on the map and it says it's right at the fountain. Obviously we already knew that, but that shows us that it does work and it's telling us where it is. So we're gonna go there in just a second after we're done eating and see if we can't use the Bluetooth tracking option to get close to it and find it, hopefully. It's a lot of people. Hopefully none of them found it and took it. So I told him that he's walked by it a couple of times. So he's gonna give this whole area right here another pass. Okay, for this first test, I gotta tell Julian where it was. It was in that ice cream place. Inside so, the ice cream place. Yeah. Well, let's so, see if I can go find it. Let's go in there and see if we can find it. Okay, the hot spot seems to be right here. I'm gonna try ringing it. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> okay. This thing is so high pitched, I can't hear what. what? Oh, there it is. I thought I was sitting up against this thing. Alright. So, Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Alright, as you can see, we are clearly outside now. Continuity. So let's quickly talk about what exactly happened. The way I see it is that whenever you're gonna use any sort of tracking device to find your lost items, its job is gonna consist of two critically important parts. The first part is to determine which general area your item was left in. And as you can see from our testing, the tracker performed that part of its job beautifully. 
Over the course of just two hours, I got between five and 10 notifications letting me know that the signal which the tracker emits had been detected at that square. And then the second part of your tracker's job is to be able to actually pinpoint where your item was left so you can actually find it. In order to do that, most trackers have a built-in speaker which emits a high-pitched tone which will hopefully be able to penetrate the lower atmospheric and ambient sounds. And as you can see from our testing, we were able to find the general area in which the tracker was, but I wasn't able to actually pinpoint its location. Sims did have to tell me that it was inside of the ice cream shop. But that is where you might find the flaw in our testing because most of the time, in a real-world scenario, things are going to play out a little bit differently. That is because whenever you lose something, you usually just accidentally left something behind somewhere. Unless it got stolen, in which case the tracker would definitely help you find the general area of your item, but actually finding it would take a lot more work. But if you just forgot something, as soon as the tracker gives you the general area in which your item is, you're most likely going to remember. Say, if you were at a coffee shop, you would remember what table you were sitting at so you would know where to look. And then you can use the Bluetooth signal strength or the beeping tone to actually find your item if you haven't already. Personally, I think that the beeping tone is going to be much more beneficial for those of you who put the tracker on, say, your keys and are trying to find them inside of your house if you just misplaced them. So overall, I think that these trackers are definitely very cool and they're definitely going to give you a much, much better chance at finding your lost items. Although personally, I think that for what they are, they are on the expensive side coming in at like $20 to $30 per tracker, which is pretty expensive. But then again, if the tracker helps you even once or consistently saves time by helping you find your keys faster, I think that it'll definitely have been worth the 20 or 30 bucks. So that is how I feel about these sorts of trackers in general. I hope you found the real world test as well as my opinion on them insightful and helpful. If you did, make sure to click that like button down there. It helps out a bunch. If you have any questions whatsoever, ask them in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. And if you think I've earned it, consider subscribing as that would really mean a lot. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.